Hi beauties, it is Kiko Vanity Simmer and I am back with another Simmy video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about creating, how to create, and just a disclaimer before we get started, if you do not know what a mesh is, if you don't know what a recolor is, if you do not know what weights are, and you don't know how to manipulate Blender, this is not the tutorial for you. This is for people who, um, what's the word? Sorry about my nails, y'all. This is for people who have an understanding of how to do a recolor and who have an understanding of how to transfer weights and uh, UV maps. If you do not, I'm sorry, this isn't for you. Um, there are a lot of starter tutorials out there, but a lot of them are hand, not handwritten, but typed. So that could be an issue for some, but if you just take your time and read through it, I promise that you will get it. Once you understand that, just come back to this video and I'll be happy to help. So yeah, I guess we can get started now. So for all the people who understand what those things are, the things that you will need are, of course, to our left is Sense for Studio, some type of 2D program that can process uh, PNG files. And that basically means Photoshop, Paint.net, GIMP, I don't know, any other ones. So yeah. Uh, so what you need is Sense for Studio, a two D a two D program that process processes PNG files. You will need Blender two forms, Blender two point seventy and Blender two point seven eight or better. My Blender two point seven eight is just my personal favorite um, form of Blender. It's just my favorite so and you will also need a couple of images that i will link below you will need um marvelous designer i know it's kind of expensive but y'all i got you you i got you just just take the link like don't don't look at the don't google the price just check the link i got you don't click off i got you i promise just just look in the look in the description that's all i'm gonna say so yeah i think that's about it Oh, and of course, you'll need like some type of inspo for what you want to make. So, yeah, but everything else, I will show you where you can get it. I will leave links. Um, I don't know if I will leave a handwritten tutorial because I'm not that girl. But uh, I will most definitely <laughs> leave links if I can find them. So, uh, I just want to go into Google Chrome really quick. Before we get into like uh, different things, because I want to show you what you need. Um, oh, and, and just a pro tip. If you are downloading, I'm going to show you the difference between blenders. So you will want to download Blender 2.7 through installer. If you don't know what that means, just go onto the Blender website. And, and, and if you download the most recent one, it would download as an installer. Now, since for Studio website, they will take you to um, Blender 2.7 where you can download and that will install into your program files. Now, Blender 2.8, as you can see when I click this, it's, a, it's um, a folder on my desktop. It's not like the actual application is right here as you can see, but when I press Blender 2.70 it loads up like this because this is the install into my program files. This is how it has to be um, I don't really know the other way around it Because um, if they are both installed in your program files, then they will both what is the word? They will both clash like it will always load One or the other like you can't load them both up and you need to load them both up separately You can't load them together so now that we have that figured out, we can get into creating. So first things first, I'm going to show you some things, that, some photos that you will need to download in order to make clothes. As you can see, this weird looking alien type of thing 
This is how we get our clothes to work with different shapes. I'm just going to go ahead and download the female one. And I'm going to save it to my Sims 4 CC making folder. And you can change it to whatever you want it to. I've just gotten so accustomed to this name. I leave it to this, leave it as this. You can change it if you would like. I'm also going to download this and make sure you pay attention to what I'm about to do next. This is basically how we make CC in our game. Is um just just ignore the child. I don't know why it says child, but. This is how we make CC, like this is where hair goes, this is where a hat goes, this is where glasses or lashes go, this is where the face is, you know. Everything in the Sim game is revolving around this format. You want to download this so you know where things are and if you're testing and something's interfering, you know you know what's going on, you know, you know where your CC is at. I do not recommend you not to download this. If you want to create, you need this. So what I'm going to do is I want to go into my 2D editor. I want to close this out. And I'm going to open up the um, image that I just downloaded. The colorful one, not the alien looking one. Just this one. And I make sure you pay attention. I am going to resize this because I am forever going to... Forever my CC is going to be in this format. I'm going to change it from 1024 pixels to 2048 pixels what this does it gives you more room to work with and is not as compressed and also this is what it means when cc is hq mod compatible your game does not have to have the hq mod for it to have this measure for to have these measurements but you know it just makes it easier on you as a creator so we're going to do that i'm going to save that and we are done i'm going to leave this open because we will need to come back to this image to create content so it's really no use in closing it so i'm going to minimize it now one thing i forgot to show you guys that you need is you need a avatar so what i am going to do is type in um this link right here it's gonna load and uh, let's close this out because that's a bit distracting for me so basically this is what you're going to need in marvelous designer excuse my internet connection is wilding but this is what you're going to need in marvelous designer is basically just the sims for a character you know to work it so what you can do is you can go to download and you can have it they also have i'm not going to download it because i already have it but they also have they have a child as you can see they have a toddler and they have a man's i don't see it on here it's pretty sure right here but this is yeah this is what i think the, yeah it's right underneath the woman so this is the men's avatar i recommend you go in and you download them all i'll have a link for this below so yes we can get started with creating now. So I'm going to open up Marvelous Designer. I have it already loaded up. And oh, since we're at this point, make sure when you are installing Marvelous Designer, the way with the link I gave you, make sure that your antivirus is off or it will not work properly. That is very important. I uninstalled my antivirus completely when I was installing this. Um, it's virus free. I haven't had any issues. I've had over four computers in 2014 that I've done this with and it has been absolutely fine. So yeah, that's just what I, just a disclaimer I want to make. Um, just turn off your uh, antivirus completely uninstall it reinstall it once you you know you're done doing that so yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to file add avatar and i, I have a sense for making uh folder I, I keep everything pretty organized you don't have to do this but this is just something i do this is my work in progresses i don't know why the wicked mod is in here though uh, my textures, my object files, just different things like that. I want to make a new one just so things don't get confused for you guys. So 
So just disregard this. It's, I'm just making a new one. I don't know how my poses are here. I haven't made poses in a long time. Sorry, I'm rambling. Let me be quiet. <laughs> so... Okay, so now that you have downloaded, you know, the avatars, I, you can load up whichever you like. I'm going to load up the female because, you know, um, that's what people like the most. So, yeah, <laughs> it's going to uh, load the female in. And this is how she should load up. So, let's get into creating. Now, do you see this little polygon tool? You're going to press that. I'm just zooming in with the scroll. You can just um, basically just watch what I'm doing. I'm going to try to explain it, but you guys are not the best teacher. So what I'm going to do is where the shoulder is, I'm going to make a point, drag to the neck area, make a point, drag to the inner, inner neck area where your esophagus is, drag down. This is where the breast area is ending. And I'm going to make a mini crop top. I mean, a mini crop sweater. So this is where it will end. Drag outward. You can go out here. You can like stop right here. But most clothes, they kind of go out a little bit more. I'm going to make a, a dot. And this is just clicking, you guys. And I'm going to connect it to the inner dot. Since that's the dot that we started with. And this is how your first shape should load up. Then I'm going to go to the curvature tool. I'm and um, press this line that we have created. And I'm just going to bend it inward. And you almost there. We're almost done, you guys. So next, I'm going to right click, unfold. And that just gives you another shirt. You're going to click this dot in the middle and delete it. Select your curvature tool again, left click, and make a little swoop in the neck. So I'm not really sure what, what the uh, controls are, but I'm I'm pressing one, pressing two, three, four, and that's exactly what we want. No. I think three, two, four, six. That was five. no, that's five. So I just pressed five. And I'm going to show you why I did that in a moment. Press this tool. Let me get the name of it real quick. The transform pattern tool. You want to select that. I'm just clicking on it. Press shift C. Oh, no, no, no. Don't press shift C. Press control C. Control V. Shift to make sure everything stays in line. Next, what you're going to do is come on this... Um, 3D side. This is called the 2D side. This is called the 3D side. Make sure that you use your number so everything stays approximate because if you don't, like if you just move it like this, like things move weird, press con control Z to undo. Oh, did too much. You can go up here as well. Redo. Don't do that. Don't press control Z too much. But yeah. Just to make things, you know, stay, um, let's work, proportional in the correct spot, in the exact spot that you want it. Make sure you uh, press, like, uh, letters, numbers, <laughs> one through zero to make sure everything stays approximate. So I'm just going to go back to five, which is the top view. I am right-clicking on... Um, my mouse on um, this top, not my mouse, and we're going to press flip horizontally. Next, I'm gonna double click on this, drag it along back here. I think this is the y axis, then going across the x axis until they meet up, and it should be fine like this. I'm gonna press the top and drag it closer. Then you want to press one, two. Yeah, we're going to go with two. I like to move it like this, but we're not going to be moving the shirts after this. I just want to make sure I can see that everything is lined up well. We're going to go to our sewing tool. So, uh, se segment sewing. 
we're gonna just sew everything up just do as I'm doing matching the sides together one thing you do not want to do is just make sure you have a straight line one thing you don't want is this if it looks like this it will not sew correctly so just press ctrl z if you do that just make sure everything is sewing properly and everything has straight lines looks like it'll load pretty okay what we're going to do is press our space bar and there you go it's a little cute <laughs> top or it will be cute so yeah this is what we have so far and we're going to move on to sleeves you want to go to your rectangle um what's it called just rectangle i think it's called yeah there's a go it's rectangle yep it's just called a rectangle so you're just going to make a um hold on sis <laughs> you ain't never <laughs> did that before i don't know why you choose to do that now but i was i like i like to match it up you don't have to but we're just going to draw a rectangle not too long but long enough to where it reached the arm and this is where it gets tricky hold on Cause it's really acting up today like it never really happens so i'm gonna uh this is where it gets tricky so make sure you guys pay attention what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top of this rectangle that curvature tool and make a curve outwards just like that and next you're gonna put a dot not exactly in the middle but like because it's kind of hard to tell depending on how you draw it but i just want to put it as close as possible to the middle this is fine with me I feel like this will be too tight on the arm so what I'm going to do is select this uh, transform tool and to just stretch it out a bit next we're going to go back to our numbers I just pressed 2 and we are going to rotate just rotate 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, let's go with one. <laughs> so we're gonna press. We pressed one to get this view. Right click and flip normal. Pressing two. I'm just gonna rotate this way. Pressing three, four. There we go. I'm going to move it on the arm. Just position it. In well well on the um sim just do as i'm doing you guys and now that we have it in this area we can start sewing so first i'm going to connect this part ooh, to to ooh, 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 to here and this is how it should look i'm going to connect this part gonna turn it around and I am just right clicking when I turn this around by the way you guys and sewing it right there sewing into the parts of the uh, arms that we have already sewn and what you want to do is press space as you can see you know it kind of got a bit uh, what's the word tight in that area um you can do that by like making it bigger so i'm just gonna make control z because i don't like how tight that look like she like she got on a medium like girl no no thanks so i'm gonna make this a bit wider just so it's not as bunched and i'm gonna press spacebar to which is called simulate if you guys didn't know you press up here as well just to get um, a good, you know, that just makes it sew together. So now that that has loaded, not as bunch, we're going to go to our segment sewing again. And sew each side together. Simple. Press simulate. And that's how it should load. Just like that. It's a bit too big. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that when we finish 
uh loading oh i forgot to mention you guys you can um grab pieces on here and manipulate it how you like you know if you are sewing something and you don't like where it sits you can always do that okay so we're going to turn this off just by clicking left clicking and um what you're going to do is click this arm control c copy Go back into your transform just so it's easier to maneuver things. Right click, mirror paste. I'm gonna bring it as close to this arm as you can. As you can see, it loads a little bit out. I'm gonna press one, two, just for you know things to be precise. Get as close to this arm to the side that we can. Sometimes it's not perfect, but that's okay. This is really good to me in my opinion. We're going to start to sew now. If I make a mistake, I'm sorry, you guys. It's still a bit tricky with this for this side for me. I have no idea why, but I hope we get it right. So I'm going to press here. And we're going to sew. And I think that's right. Oh, and it was. So <laughs> we're going to do the same on this side. It's only one part left, so that should be easy. And yeah. Make sure you guys, there aren't any crisscross little lines when you're sewing. Make sure it's just one smooth plane. And with that, we're going to stimulate. And basically, our top is done. There's more that you can add to it. But this is, looks pretty done to me. We're not done in Marvelous Designer, but we are done with meshing. And that is a good thing. So what you want to do is go back to Transform. Click both of these, right click, and you want to flip normal back. Just so all the the whole um, uh, mesh is white and matching. So now we're going, uh, going to alter how things are, make some things look a bit better make some things you know just flow more smoothly i'm going to introduce you to our far right side which is the property editor this is what will make your um cc more smooth more um you know realistic now you just want to bypass this whole selected line area we're not in the part of our tutorial um series yet that's later when we are more advanced what you want to do is um select all this is pretty you know not really um well i'm just spinning around just to make sure there aren't any gaps i thought that there were not any gaps in the meshes but as you can see there are some right here and on this side i'm going to zoom out and only select the arms where there are gaps in your mesh and I am going to press go to particle distance basically this is how far the vertices are in our mesh the vertices are those little things that you can pull on and edit in blender and basically it can make something high poly or low poly this will make it more so high poly but we will fix that in blender and make it low poly so what I'm going to do is I always like to go with a smooth 15 just to be safe. You never want to bring it past 10 in my opinion unless you're working with a complicated mesh. But this is the Sims. Like you do not need to bring it past 10. Like your thing will take forever to load. Like the farthest I've gone is probably like I think 11 but 10 is pushing it you guys so like as you can see uh adding more um particles um close up that gap and that is great that's what we wanted next we are going to go down to shrinkage weft what shrinkage shrinkage weft does and brings it closer to the mesh what shrinkage warp does and makes sure mesh look mesh longer so we don't want to make this any longer we just want to make it a bit uh closer to the arms but to match the thottiness of the shirt so yeah here we go we're gonna 
I don't think we're good number is 70. Let's go with 70. Just making sure I'm still recording. Okay, sorry, you guys. So, yeah, 70. And as you can see, that caused a bit of wrinkles up here. Now, Marvelous Designer is just like, um, you know, making clothes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to this little iron. And we're going to iron where the wrinkles 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 were made so i'm just ironing it out just to get like a um cool little mesh i'm also going right here just to make that little the neck area a bit you know what's the word shorter i'm liking how that looks so that's good i spin it around i noticed that there's a little dip back here and i'm going to show you guys how to fix that we're going to go to this tool I forget the name. Edit pattern tool. We're going to click on this. And we're going to delete all curve lines. Wait for that to load. And press simulate. And we are good. So the shirt is looking pretty good. Pretty. What's the word? good for my standards i like clothes like this so um we're going to go to the transform tool we're going to select all and we are done with marvelous designer you guys we only have one more step uh no two sorry two more steps we're going to quadrate what quadrate means is to um just smooth things out quadrate makes it uh less polys and just smooths things out really well so I'm going to press simulate so things will sew back up. As you can see, the sewing lines right here. So I'm just going to sew everything back up. Make sure there aren't any um, holes. Just kind of pull those out. You guys can go back into particle design if you, you'd like. We're going to delete a lot of this inside the mesh. I'll show you what we mean. If, but what I mean um, so yeah, now that we have all this selected, what you want to do is right click on your mesh, which is yellow. Well, once you select it all and, oh, never mind. We're not going to right click. Sorry. It's like select it all again. And we're going to press file, export, go to object, select it. Do not just press object. Always press object selected or the sim, sim mesh will load with it and we do not want that i'm going to go to this what's just best for this and we're going to name this sweater press save make sure you want to select multiple objects and uh your screen may not look like this so take time to take a picture of this, screenshot this, just so you can set it as this because it won't look like this. You always want multiple objects. You always want thin. You don't have to, you know, have these UV coordinates. I just do because it's easier for me. You can have it as well. But you always, always, always want your scale to be this. If, it, if it's in this, it's too big. Always go with this one. So... For me, my computer laptop isn't that large, so I'm just going to um, close these little arrows and press OK. And we're done in Marvelous Designer. The hard part is over. I hope you guys don't think it was really hard, but, you know, we're done. You can save this as whatever. I'm not going to because um, I don't plan on coming back to it. If you want to come back to it, you know, fix some things up, you can. But, yeah, I'm just not coming <laughs> back to it. So, yeah. I'm just going to exit. You want to save? No. Hey, you guys. So, this was the first part of the video. Um, I had to cut it in parts because it's pretty long. The second part will either be up later today or tomorrow, but it's looking like tomorrow or Wednesday. I hope you guys um, understood. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to rewatch the video and then comment down below. Um, if there are any creators who can like give someone tips down below, that'll be helpful too. 
But, you know, I did my best. I'm not the best teacher. So, yeah, part two will be up soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I got what you need to come share my world.